Thank you, Lynn. Well, it could be a critical day in court in the ongoing Richard Emery murder trial in St. Charles. Emery accused of killing four people from the same family, including two young children back in 2018. The story we've been following very closely and will continue to. Fox News' Chris Renier live in St. Charles with what we're learning this morning. Time, Margie. Prosecutors are seeking the death penalty against Emery. This trial taking place inside the courthouse just behind us here. We do expect Richard Emery to take the stand in his own defense coming up here this morning. We can show you video of the 50 year old Emery entering the courtroom yesterday. He is the one you see not wearing a suit coat. Phil Greenway is the lead prosecutor, while Emery is being represented by public defenders. Attorneys on both sides of this case agree that Emery committed the killings, but Emery's state of mind is in dispute. Greenway calling Emery's actions deliberate, intentional, and purposeful. But Emery's attorneys are presenting a diminished capacity defense, claiming Emery had previously been diagnosed with borderline personality disorder, and he was not in control of himself at the time of the murders. Emery faces 15 charges, including four counts of first-degree murder. Emery is charged with killing his girlfriend, 39-year-old Kate Caston, her two children from a previous relationship, 10-year-old Jonathan and 8-year-old Zoe, and Kate's mother, 61-year-old Jane Mockle. The tragedy unfolding at a St. Charles home just days after Christmas back in 2018. Authorities say after the murders, Emery exchanged gunfire with police and tried to carjack a woman while trying to get away. Investigators say Emery stabbed that woman seven times. Fortunately, she survived. Emery was captured the morning after the shootings in a St. Charles QT bathroom. This trial has been ongoing since September the 20th, and prosecutors have indicated to us that they do expect this trial to last about two and a half weeks with court happening on Saturdays. For now, live in St. Charles, Chris Renier, Fox News. Chris, thank you.